So it ends in a tie, right? Uh, I haven't really seen that many boxing matches where it ends in a tie. I'm a little disappointed because I wanted there to be a clear winner. I think a lot of people are disappointed with that. But seeing the actual fight, uh, I'm not surprised how well Logan Paul actually did. He actually did pretty well for this fight. His punches were actually clean. Um, he seemed to be able to stand up and hold his own very well. As for KSI, you could tell that he had the experience and the know-how to deal with this fight, but at the same time, I'm kind of surprised on how sloppy his fight was. Uh, he would come out and he would swing his arm widely, and to me, that's like not a good way to like to leave yourself open like that. He left himself open quite a few times for Logan Paul to go in for the kill, but... For some reason, Logan Paul didn't, and that's probably out of experience. And like, like he was just stating earlier in his press press conference, he's only been boxing for about five months, which concludes my theory in my last video that he's only been doing it for a couple months. And I thought he might have been training for a couple years, unknowingly. But Logan Paul did surprisingly well. I actually, I wouldn't say surprisingly, because like I said earlier in my last video, I wouldn't be surprised if he won. But my money was on KSI, and as I said, I am a little disappointed with how he was fighting. I was expecting more of a, uh, I guess a better stance, uh, more clean punches, but Logan Paul was the one throwing up clean punches. And apparently they're already talking about a uh, rematch. And in that case, Logan Paul will probably get more experience and more training, and he'll probably actually do way better than KSI. So, for someone who's experienced like KSI, I'm just surprised about the way he was boxing. He was boxing kind of sloppy, but at the same time, he came through in the last few rounds from maybe the third round he did really good, the sixth round, and then like the last two rounds he was still holding up. And you can see Logan Paul was just struggling to get a hold of KSI so the ref can break it up. He just kept hugging him and hugging him. But but then again, KSI kept doing it too quite a few times. I, I, overall, I'm a little disappointed with how this fight went. I'm still excited. And congratulations to Logan Paul for your Logan... For your Logan... For your boxing debut. And I actually think you did very well. If you had more training, more experience, you probably would be a really decent boxer. As for KSI, I think you need a... For someone who's experienced, man, I think you need to work on your form, man. Like that's some sloppiest, sloppiness right there. But then again, your experience and your know-how kept you in this fight. And as Logan Paul was stating earlier, uh, KSI was showing experience in this fight that he didn't have. So there's that. So that's my two cents. I'm a little disappointed with how this fight went. I was hoping there would be a clear winner, at least one clear winner. But... But my personal opinion, I think if Logan Paul were to train a little bit more, maybe a couple years, maybe get some more experience under his belt, he may actually turn out to be a decent boxer. Uh, KSI is still pretty decent, but I think Logan Paul shows some skills and that will lead him to be a really good boxer in the future. That's just my opinion. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I gotta go. Peace out.